the hit and run Saturday night, so violent and extensive, by Monday morning, signs were still all over the place. A hubcap, a hydrant, a set of keys, and scorched pavement. Authorities say this is the work of a speeding driver named Jason Hines, 31 years old, accused of plowing through a red light at Falls in Greenspring around 1045, smashing into a Subaru, causing an explosion, and crashing through a storefront, and in the process, killing a beloved doctor at Johns Hopkins, rheumatologist Nadia Morgan. I really love interacting with my patients, and as a rheumatologist, it allows for continuity of care. That's Dr. Morgan in a video posted a few months ago by her department, a department which is now grieving for a colleague called extraordinarily talented, warm and promising. In court today, a judge called Jason Hines too dangerous to let out on bail. We talked to you guys about Jason, what happened? We'd rather not. I appreciate you, respect our privacy. No comment from Hines' family after the hearing, where Hines was accused of running away after the crash. He did flee on foot. It, once he, the accident happened, he jumped out of the Acura. He did run on foot. There were several witnesses to the accident. Authorities say Hines was found and arrested in the patient first parking lot nearby. But his defense attorney said it was more like Hines was roaming around than running away. Also arguing his license was in order. He had insurance and no criminal record. That's when the state stepped in, pointing out Mr. Hines driving record, which includes a conviction in 2010 for hit and run, along with a half dozen more for speeding. Now, police and prosecutors are quite certain speed was the main factor here, but police say they're still investigating to determine if visibility, drugs, or alcohol may also have played a role in this crash. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.